Hello everyone. In this video, I want to go over the item master statuses. Uh, you know, a, a purchase order can have a revision, uh, so it, its statuses are limited. Job plans can have a revision, so its statuses are limited. <clears throat> Inventory works a little bit differently, uh, and much differently than assets. So, and to, to kind of show you exactly how this kind of works, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this item. Uh, and Maximo doesn't order number this, so uh, I'm going to go 275, uh, 11, uh, what is it, 275, or 11, or 14, uh, whatever. Uh, just some random number that looks like a tire number. And we can see the status is pending, okay? So here, I, let's say I don't want to do conditions, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, since I, I've never even saved this, uh, I'm going to do that, or no lot, I'm going to, uh, let's see, uh, we'll get into that later, and we're going to buy this in eaches, and we're going to issue it in eaches, and realistically, I would, I would do this much better, uh, it's not going to be a kit, it's not going to be capitalized, uh, we'll go ahead and say that's spare part, or it's not tax exempt, inspect our receipt, you know, I want you to check this out. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and save it, right? So the status is pending. Pending, you can't really do much with. Uh, in order to, to really start using the Cider Master, you have to actually put it in active. Now, once I put it in active, okay, we've, we've kind of solidified a lot of things here. We know it's not going to be rotating. Uh, we can we can go ahead and, and play with a few of these fields, but... Uh, you know, alternate item condition codes and these tabs, we'll get it to later. But uh, once we start making history again, that this, this item master is going to be locked down. Now, you can't delete the item master if there's any history, okay? Uh, there's not even an option, really, to delete it. So, what do we do? Well, the reason why they kind of took the lead out is because if you've ever used this, well, then uh, you don't ever really want to get rid of it because... Then, you know, if you've made historical records, especially, you want to be able to reference this item, uh, you know, should, should the need ever arise. You know, you start looking at all the materials I used. Okay, I used all these materials. Let's say there was a uh, uh, breakage. Okay, well, wh what what O-ring did I use? So I go back and look at the O-ring. If you delete the item master, you'll never find that information. So we're not allowed to, to delete this. In order to get rid of it and, and to phase it out, uh, we, you don't put it back into pending. You you would you could put it into planning, right? Uh, and, and planning mode is is uh, it would become before the active mode. Uh, but you put it in pending obsolescence. Uh, obviously, again, there's a space to put a, no, a memo and to roll statuses. But we'll we'll get in that in a second. So pending obsolescence. Uh, while things are in this status, right? Uh, let me see if I can go back. Uh, while, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. See, roll new statuses to organizations and inventory. <clears throat> so you don't, uh, when you when you put something in pending obsolescence status, you're letting everyone know that we're phasing this out, uh, use it up, and you actually have to look for either an alternate item or, or a new item completely. Uh, you know, we're no longer going to stock this stuff here, so you're not allowed to buy it. And Maximo recognizes this status pending obsolescence and it uh you're, you're not stocking it anymore you're not buying it anymore uh and, and that's what you're communicating both to maximo and to the users right uh if you check this box it'll roll down to the inventory which i can't see why you wouldn't i mean if if you're making the item master pending obsolescence then obviously the, the inventory is gonna gonna be that as well uh but from pending obsolescence uh Oh, I'm sorry. Depending on obsolescence, the next is obsolete, obviously, right? So this automatically rolls down. And and this is like, okay, we're done. We're not using this anymore. Uh, and just like you can't delete an item master, you can't delete an item master or an inventory line from a storeroom. You can only use statuses very similar to this, uh, or if not exactly the same as this. So this would roll it down to the inventory line, and this would roll to every inventory line in the organization. So when you start using these statuses, you've got to really pay attention 
uh, and and this is something that's that's not done haphazardly. It's not done on a whim. You plan to phase out material, and uh, and, and you do it in stages, and that's what this is for. And then the memo uh, memos are always good to use. Uh, they never hurt anything, and it only takes a couple seconds. Uh, even if you say, you know, my boss told me to in the memo line, as long as it's accurate and, and it's not, you know, slanderous or whatever, I, I can't see a reason why you wouldn't use memo. Uh, and then you click OK, and the status will, it, it gives you a warning. Are you really, really sure? You hit yes, it's, and it's done. It's done. It's over. It's all over. You can't use this anymore. Uh, I hope that uh, was informative. I hope it gave you uh, everything you needed to know about uh, statuses in the Item Master record. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please comment below and I'll do my best to address them. Thank you.